In this video, I'll be marking up the spar and the skins uh, ready for gluing and varnishing. I will be uh, going through the modification I'm planning on the rudder, which is not approved by Spartech. And I'll be going through the methods I use for drilling the ribs for the metalwork. As I've said before, this is not an instructional video for the construction of this particular rudder kit. Uh, this is my methodology and the modifications I do at my own risk. So please follow the instructions and the plans if you're building one yourself. And if you deviate, you do so at your own risk. Anyway, let's crack on and look at the video. So here I am, I'm just marking up where the ribs fit on, using the ribs as a marking point and going through measuring and putting in the, the lines as you see. Nothing particularly awkward there. Now I've just marked out here where the ribs are going to sort of go. I'll put actual ident marks on there so they get those right. That allows me to varnish inside these areas here, especially down here where I won't get much very good access. This varnish just keeping out away from the, uh, the actual uh, blue lines. So I've got that one, that's all marked. Next section for me to do is to mark up the skins and then we'll draw the holes in there to, to, the, to the sizes for the rivets and then we'll varnish. So marking up the skins. I set up a datum line for the spar to start off with and then do all the measuring from that using uh, the bevel gauges to make sure I get the angles right. Double checking everything is required. Making sure the rib positions and here I'm just checking the diagonal to make sure that my diagonal goes to the right place so the uh, rib length and the diagonal are correct. Make sure the geometry is absolutely perfectly set. So now that's all set up, I've got to go and also do the other side as well. But first off, I'm just going to mark where the ribs go, so I can put where the glue, glue is going to go onto the uh, skins. I don't varnish the skins until I've got the ribs on, uh, but I will be varnishing the spars and the ribs themselves. So this is just repeating the same. This is for the left skin, which is the one that I'm actually going to glue the ribs onto to start off with, as per the instructions. Before I glue the ribs on, I'm going to glue the training edge strip into its correct position. That won't be on this video. So dry fitting things out just to make sure everything matches how it should be. Looking to make sure they actually meet up with the lines for the uh, trailing edge square section to make sure there's no gaps there. Made it up and matched correctly, so. On with the next bit. So I will be putting, I think I, I will put a filler piece into there. It's just, uh, I might as well while I can. So the additional bits, just two bits of uh, five millimeter square cut to a tape which will be glued to the back edge of that rib. Right, so dr drilling the holes in the, uh, in the ribs ready to go. So drilling through the their pre-positioned holes. Just cleaning them out. This, in this case it's cleaning out to five mil. So 
through those two holes there. Turn that off. And then, hopefully, these five mil screws I've got are long enough, I hope. Just to grip these uh, anchor nuts in place. I didn't want the screws to be too long, otherwise they go into the locking section of the anchor nuts, so you don't want to be exercising that too often. Confirm the position on the plan. This is my want, I like measuring things. Just making sure everything's even. Get moved. Move. Measure twice. Drill once. Oh, that's okay. So, drill those so they're even. It doesn't really give any position on the plan. So what we do is I'm just going to drill those holes. Now the rivets which go through are 2.4 mil. So I'll use one of their one of the supplied rivets as a, as a stop to stop the anchor plate from rotating or having any chance of rotating. I'll change this over. Uh, 2.4 mil is not a standard size metric, but it is in uh, Imperial. It's 332 Imperial. The only reason I know things like that off the top of my head is because I used to work on. Victor aircraft, well older aircraft, Victors and Nimrods, and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to convert metric into uh, Imperial so I can do it both directions now. This goes right the way through. Put the rivet in. I still want to hold that so uh, that to one side. Just putting a mark in there, I can't drill all the way through to the rivet. So now I've got that side up going right through. Just need a little bit of sand there. Just need a little bit of a sand there. Well, when we varnish it, we'll make sure the varnish goes into there. We might have to clean the holes, just run the, the drill through the holes afterwards. And when I put the rivets in, I'll put the rivets in with a bit of epoxy just to uh, really make sure they're sound and secure. So that's that one drilled. Later in the instruction, actually said those <laughs> rivets too, should be countersunk. Too scabby, too bad a job. And so next drill size is four millimeter because we need four millimeter for uh, drilling the rivet holes. We need a, get a grip of pins because we used uh, eighth grip of pins because that's the size of the, of the holes which are in the wood uh, when we started. But uh, 
We're going to be going five mil, so we're going to need blue grip pins. Four mil. I'll drill the first hole. Sorry, this is a bit off camera. I uh, should have zoomed out, had a wider angle. Get it to grip. Make sure everything's lined up there. Now, now I can go through and drill that hole. sort of deal with this one. with the pillar drill. Yeah, that's going to touch before I get to drill. So what I'll do is I'll grip it the other way, let that hang over the edge into the void, hopefully. hinge bits drilled uh, so they're ready for priming most of this is ready for uh, varnishing so that's what we'll do next we'll do a load of uh, uh, rib varnishing and we'll see what happens from there on thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.